Hello Project Greenlight, Hello Shutter, and Hello Clive Barker. I'm Dan West. And I'm Rick Popko. And we've got an interesting story to tell. The film that we're tentatively titling Cask of the Red Death is a black comedy horror screenplay that combines the giallo elements of, say, Dario Argento and Mario Bava with the low-budget exploitation murder set pieces of films such as The Abominable Dr. Fives and 2000 Maniacs. Our black comedy concept skewers the pretensions of the elitist California Napa Valley wine snob culture by portraying our film's antagonist vintners as a cult of blood-drinking Satan worshippers who prolong their lives by drinking the adrenaline-infused blood of their terrified victims. It's vintage horror film with a pitch-black sense of humor. Innocent wine enthusiasts are lured to a mysterious winery in the heart of California's Napa Valley. We like to describe this as a sort of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for adults, with horrifying murder set pieces concocted to involve the unfortunate guest's worst fears. If you hate spiders, rest assured you'll end up with your head encased in a tank of black widow spiders. Don't like needles? Well, you certainly aren't going to enjoy having all the blood slowly drained out of your body with hypodermic needles and rubber tubing. Are you claustrophobic? Well, then being encased inside of a wine barrel lined with sharp corkscrews and drowned in wine isn't going to be very pleasant. The Ten Little Indian Style premise finally climaxes with our final girl facing off with a horde of evil, bloodthirsty, blood-drinking Satanists. Our screenplay was written for a small cast and was meant to utilize very few locations. The two main locations being Balfamay Winery and a local bed and breakfast where most of the film takes place. And ideally the film would be shot on location in Napa Valley, California. So here's to keeping the spirit of independent horror alive. Mm. That's bloody good. <laughs>